Hello everybody, this is at Zoo, and this is part two of Sonic the Hedgehog CD on PSN. Now, before I start here, I want to discuss one thing or two, a bit, minute or two before we start. Now, you may notice that this version of Sonic CD stays between, auto stays between each transition, you know, from act to zone or from act to act. So you may notice I like to do my part, my 2D Sonic games from zone to zone. Or if the zones are extraordinarily short, I'll put bundle two of them together or so, something. But yeah, so yeah. In, or, in an effort to try to provide you a good gameplay at all times, I will rough cut. I will cut between each 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 transition and rough cut them, rough paste them together. So if the transitions seem a little rough for this LP, I apologize. I'm sorry, but for this LP only. I take my 2D Sonic pretty seriously. I pride myself on being good at 2D Sonic. 3D Sonic, I do good under controlled circumstances, but I'm more likely to goof up and accept it, because I can blame the floppy controls or something, and the kind of janky platforming. But uh, that's another story. But yeah. So yeah, if you don't like the rough cuts for this LP, I'm sorry, but I want to try to provide you good gameplay with minimum failings and hopefully semi-interesting commentary. So yeah, an interesting commentary may or may not come. I'm sorry, I know I'm a pretty boring guy. I try my best. I know I've been doing this for almost a year now, but I'm still a pretty boring guy. Ugh. Oh well, but I hope you got just that. So yeah, let's start. Collision Chaos. It's sort of like the pinball stage of Sonic CD. I like pinball stages. And there's something hidden here. It's shown. And there's Amy Rose. If he finished Palm Tree Panic Act 2 in the present, he gets a salt fear. But here goes my main man, Metal Sonic. He's gonna kidnap my girlfriend. No, he kidnapped my girlfriend. <sighs> I love you, Metal Sonic, but... You're asking for it now. Come on, Billy Lee, let's go save Marion. Yep, I know that's Double Dragon. I know, I have Double Dragon Neon on the brain. Cause I, re I got Double Dragon Neon off PSN today. See, yep. It's, and it's pretty fun, I gotta say. I never, I didn't really, I didn't get the chance to play the, oh, uh, I was, that was stupid. I didn't get the chance to play the original Double Dragon games, because I, because I was, uh, I'm a bit younger. I can play the younger card, but, you know, it makes me sad that I didn't get to experience the games when they came out. Some games when they came out. So, like I said, I was born in 1993. I'm 19 years old. Yeah. I like, and some people are surprised, you know. The one guy I know, Chris, on Twitter, RetroCore CDGM, thought I was in my 20s, at least 25 at least. I give the impression that I'm older because I like these older games so much. And nope, I'm 19. Well, so, hey, I, he probably knew me while I was when I was 18 or 17 still. Now, a lot of people on Twitter knew me when I was 16 even, and they thought and they thought I was in my 20s at least. That 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 brings up a whole other can of can of worms. How I sound older than I am usually. But nope, I guess just my demeanor. But I'll that's that unrelated. That's unrelated to this matter. So yeah, I never got to play the Double Dragon games. And when they came out, the original Double Dragon game. So Double Dragon Neon is my first, was my first, was technically my first experience of the series. And it kind of makes me sad that I didn't get to experience, experience the older games firsthand. Now, I would have really loved to. Because Double Dragon Neon is pretty fun. You know, I, know the, I knew the original Double Dragons were pretty cool. I saw gameplay of it and said, man, I wish I could play that. But yeah, Double Dragon Neon is pretty good. Got ten bucks PSN, pretty, or if you have PSN Plus, it's free. But, but I don't have Plus. So there's the ro robot monitor. I'll get that later. Yeah, Double Dragon Neon, pretty good. Good man. I recommend it. It's like the beat 'em up. It's like, I suppose it's the newer generation to the beat 'em up genre. But I like the beat 'em up genre. There's, they don't, the beat 'em up genre doesn't really get a lot of love these days. Back in the arcades, not, not so much now. Like Double Dragon, I have the Simpsons arcade game on PSN as well. 
So once that Double Dragon patch for online play comes around, I'll be playing that. But yeah, if you want to play a Simpsons arcade game, I got PSN as well, on PSN as well. I got pretty adept. I wasn't really good at it in the arcade, but I got pretty adept at it, so to say. I could be confident. Yeah, I like the beat em up genre. The beat em up genre needs to make a comeback. You know? But yeah, like I said, I was born in 1993, so I caught the so I was born in the 16-bit era, and the SNES and Genesis. I did have an NES as a kid, but it was be like before, like I said, before I was born. So yeah, and it didn't work too well either. It's kind of, it's pretty broke. It was pretty broken. It didn't really work too well. It didn't play the cards half the time. So even then, I still don't get to play around the NES as much. So basically, the 8-bit area was pretty much non-existent to me. The only game I remember playing was in the 8-bit area was Duck Hunt as a kid. Yeah, Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt's a classic. That's the only game I remember playing as a kid. So yeah, my, like I said, my my game experience began with the 16-bit era. But even then, I was a baby baby, you know. So I don't really remember a whole lot of the 16-bit era either. So that's, that's how I got to learn about Sonic 2. But like I said, in my one of my Sonic 3 and Knuckles videos, I didn't really grow to like Sonic until years later. So yeah. So yeah. I guess my gaming experience really began for me with the 64 era. 64 PS1 and Dreamcast era. Although, like, it's, we, could, we couldn't get more than one system, so I was a 64 guy. Oh, that was pointless. But yeah. I was three years old. Christmas, 96, three years old. Yeah. That Magic Box and Super Mario 64. Now, Super Mario 64, that game has not aged well that well. It was great at its time, but that game hasn't really aged too well over the years. I mean, I still love Mario 64 to death. I still enjoy playing it. And to be honest, I prefer Banjo-Kazooie, but that's a whole other discussion. Man, I never, I'll never forget my first time playing my, my first time playing Super Mario 64. It was awesome. Super Mario 64 is my first experiences, and I can't get back up there. That was pointless. So I basically made a stupid mistake. Sure. Yeah. So I didn't really start getting memories of games until 64 era. And that's how my sort of love of video games first started. That's the, the Mario 64, basically. I could go on for a while, but... I don't really have all my thoughts together. And I'm, for college, I'm writing an English paper about my experiences with the N64. As my experience as a game player. That's my, that's my, that's my first essay English paper. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So once I get my thoughts together, I'll probably comfortably explain that more in, in more detail. But yeah, that's the that's the basics of it. I didn't really get really do. Yeah, I got the Metal Sonic hologram. Yeah, I kill you in the past, you jerk. So anyway, yeah. I forgot I forgot the main point of my reasoning. Yeah, I do that. I rattle on and I forget what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know I've been playing too much Triple Trouble and I keep trying to do the midair midair spin off off springs. That's triple trouble only. Triple trouble's awesome. Yeah. If there's anything up here. Sonic Goop. No, I really like that sprite. There are a couple of sprites that are used that are only used in Sonic C D, like this sprite up here. And there is a special falling down sprite that's only used in special circum situations. It's like he sort of jumps down with he sort of has this weird look on his face. And he has and his feet are positioned oddly. I don't know you can trigger it in Palm Tree Panic Act one pretty easily. But I don't know about other other areas. Oh, well, there is one other time where you can do it, but it, co it costs the light to do that maneuver. I don't really want to lose a life, you know? Well, even though I got plenty to spare, I don't want to waste your time. So, yeah. I like the sprite design here. The sprite, says because of the CD quality, you get more sprites, too. You know, and stuff. CD quality, man. It's the future. <laughs> CD quality, man. It's the wave of the future. 
And then these bumpers keep bouncing me around. And I can't get those, can't get those rings. I'm cl so close to 200, just give me 200. So I can give me the 200. So yeah, I forgot what I was talking about, so. Yeah, I tend to do that a lot, I forget what I'm talking about usually. Anyway, yeah, we're pretty close to the end of the act here. So let's go. No. Once you pass this goal post, it blocks you from going back in the act, so you gotta get your business done before you pass this. See? Once you go past it, it locks out. So yeah, here's one of those transition ones I'm gonna talk, I'm, I was talking about. So I'm gonna so it's probably gonna be an awkward pause for a couple seconds. Awkward pauses are always good. <laughs> so yeah, good future. Metal Sonic hologram hamburger thingy. And special we're going to special stage three. So yeah, awkward pause. See you on the next side of the pause. Awkward pause. Okay, okay, awkward pause over. Rough cut. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, special stage three. Get the get the second time stone. Well, it's technically the third, but I screwed up the first one on purpose. Okay, let's get the ring combo. First, got yeah, those black strips are water. Like I said, don't touch the water. Bruh. Okay, now it's time to get the speed shoes. Bruh. See, the first couple special stages are pretty easy. They are probably going to finish more than 50 seconds this time. Yeah, there we go. We're going to get a nice time bonus. Yeah. So, I, uh, the yellow time stone of power. Yeah. Time stone to get. Yeah. So that really wasn't much of a segment. <laughs> See, a double point. Do we get an extra life out of this? Yeah. And now for another awkward pause. Sorry. Awkward pause time. <laughs> Sorry about those. Okay, awkward pause over again. I know it's, it's a, I know it's annoying, but like I said, I want to provide you a good gameplay. But yeah, Act Two, Collision Chaos Act Two, present. Yeah, yeah. At least I'm in that ball thingy when I go in there. Those stupid enemies. Nope, I don't want to keep getting points. That's just wasting time now. Can I get up there? No, I don't want to go back in there. Well, points are points, but I don't want to waste too much time doing that. Alright. You can go up here, but I'm going to go flush down this way. Oh, that was weird. So you can break these balls. <laughs> these ball break glass balls for points. And you, can, and you can somehow wiggle your way back in here. As, yeah, I, find, I, always, I found that odd where you can wiggle your way back in there. I found that odd. Oh, and there's a sort of like a glitch there. There's sort of just derba 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 der on that. So I usually like to break these for the points. I don't think they respawn, so you don't have to watch me break them again. Now there are a couple of path splits here. I usually go up this way, because there's a path post up here. You know, I need to get the path post. Now I'm just trying to find a good runway to use this. Come on, please be enough. Yeah. That was kind of part luck there. <laughs> to the pass, we go. So the hamburger monitor should be around here again. You're near around here again. You may notice I was in one of these before. I usually I usually do my time travel in here, but I took a different approach. I took a risk. So I can get it to work. That was kind of risky. Shoo maneuver. That was pretty risky there too. I'm being risky. Risky's revenge. Oh, but I sort of jumped back in there. No. Get away, Mantis. I guess I can get a couple rings up that way. The game will let me go back there. I'm not going to break them all again because you watched me break them all in the present. Well, I guess I'm not going that way. I'll go this way. Game keeps, uh, game keeps inclined on bouncing me around. And I got a future post. Don't want to use it. Ah, get away. Let's go up this way. 
things out here. Oh, there's spikes. I almost got pricked by the spikes. I got a couple rings up here, at least. Guess I'm not going that way. I wasted your time again. I'm sorry. But I got a future post. I kind of want to get rid of this. There. I know the hamburger robot monitor somewhere around here, so I'll get rid of the enemies quickly. Here it is. Yeah, no more enemies, so all we have to worry about is the spikes now. Ooh. I like this I like this section here. Get a big whoosh here. Whoosh. Whoa. That kinda threw me off. <laughs> anyway, the metal sonic hologram will be later down the act, but now we can rest easy. You rest easy now. Go and rest, our heroes. Yeah. And I took a crappy jump. I usually don't like to take blind jumps like that. But I just did. I broke my own rule. Peel out. You know, that's, that's another thing I like about Sonic CD. Like I said, the peel out. I really wish the peel out was used in more games. The peel out. I like the peel out more than the spin dash. Like, you go faster. You go faster. I like that. But you are vulnerable, so there's a, it's a perfect risk-reward situation. You know, you gotta choose between speed or the protection of the spin dash. Even though you're still not fully protected with the spin dash, still. It's a perfect risk-reward situation. You know? But it's only used in a couple games. Um, Sonic CD. Um, Sonic Triple Trouble. And Sonic Chaos. The only examples I can think of right now. I think those are the only ones. Oh, there's spikes there. Good thing I decided to jump. Bruh. Time to get some momentum. Momentum. How about momentum? At least the momentum works when you go up ramps. Yep. Spin dash. Me like he the I like the spin dash, but I like the peel out more. Me like he's the peel out. Peel out is awesome. Forever awesomer. So the metal top sonic hologram is down this way. So I don't know what the point of me going up there was. Here he is. That jerk. Kidnapped my girlfriend. Well, and it, Sonic's the one to admit Amy's his girlfriend. But still. It's still kind of funny. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, this is the first appearance of Amy Rose, too. Now there's a crap load of balls, glass balls here for me to break. So guess what? Yep, it's time to break them all. Hopefully I should break these pretty quickly. There, get a good bit of points out of these. Now, yeah, this this collision chaos, you may notice the flippers and stuff. So I think Sonic CD came out before Sonic 2. I don't know, somebody check on that. But I know between Sonic 2 and Sonic CD was the idea of the pinball. Sonic pinball. And I fell through that flipper, didn't I? But yeah, I think so I think Collision Chaos was the inspiration for Sonic Spinball because the pinball-like element set the stage for Sonic Spinball, I, I believe. But yeah, Sonic CD is an inspiration in more ways than one. Oh, this part. Yeah, screw this way. I'm gonna go up this way. It's up here, safer. Whoosh. Ah. They may notice these barrel thingies aren't moving. In the present and future, these things will be moving, but in the past, they're stopped. They're stalled. So yeah, those things do not move. Alright. So, yeah. So, since I got the Metal Sonic hologram and the hamburger monitor, there's nothing left to do other than to collect rings and finish the act. So, can't get enough momentum to get up there, too. I can still go up this way, though. Crap. So, let me up that way. Now, there are a crap load of springs down there, if you saw. And they bounce you every which way. Crap. Come on. Gimme. Sonic need rings. Now, let's go up this way. If I can... There. Foothold. Glorious foothold. Uh, can I get up there? I know, I want to get up there. Dang it. Dang it, game, let me through. I can't screw around too much, I'm going to run out of time. 
screw you. Here, I'll use this flipper. Well, that didn't work either. Well, I'm just wasting your time now, so... There is another way I'd like to go, but I kind of screwed that up. There are, there, it leads to a couple boxes, but I don't think I have enough time to go, go back and get them now. So we're getting close to the end of the act now. There's extra life. Do I really need it? Sure. Let's go get it. Sonic needs lives, too. Nope. Nope. See, those springs bounce you around everywhere. Don't like to get, go down there. Yep, I don't think I'm going to get it. So I gotta hurry up now. Haha, <laughs> hurry up. Reminds me of, I always think of the hurry up music from Warrior Land 4 whenever I say hurry up. I don't think I'm going to get up there easily. Now, here's an interesting thing here. Collision Chaos Act 2 actually has two different goals to do for X's, like Starlight Zone Act X 2 from Sonic 1. There's two exits to this one. As far as I know, it's Collision Chaos Act 2 and Starlight Zone Act 2 are the only ones that have this. So, so yeah, just, wait, just be stagnant. This, this is the one you want to get up to, the gold. The bottom route has less rings, but yeah, this one has more rings. I'm disappointed in myself. I usually have more than 200 rings on this sack, but oh well. Okay, we found a hidden exit. Yeah. Oh, like, the uh, Spring Yard Zone Act 2 has two exits. Yeah, forgot about that one. Spring Yard Zone. Yeah, there's another zone with two exits. The bottom route's the regular one. This is the special one. So we, we went to the special exit. And this version of Sonic C, you'll get a trophy for it. Trophy achievement. Nothing special. But still, a couple extra rings up here and the satisfaction of finding a secret exit. About it. Oh well, yeah. Time for another awkward cut. So yeah, see you on the next side of the cut. Okay, back from the awkward cut. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. But yeah. Oh anyway, yeah. Special stage four. Special stage four is still pretty easy, me things. Things don't start to get tricky until special stage five. Oh anyway, yeah. You know to drill. You know to drill by now. Get the four ring UFOs first. I, I call them UFOs. Like uh oh, because when you see a UFO, you want to say uh oh, <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> now let's get the speed shoes. Speed shoes. No, back here. Dang it, you. Dang it, UFO. Back here. There. I landed on the bumper to end it. <laughs> So I'm gonna get a decent time bonus. I gotta get twelve thousand. Took me a little bit. This is pretty decent, I guess. So time stone three gets the Sonic Blue time stone. Threat. Tails yellow, knuckles red. Yeah, we got it. We might get an extra late. No, I'll just short. Well, but we'll get in Act Three. So yeah, see you in Act Three from the awkward cut. Last awkward cut of this section. I'm back from the awkward cut. Last awkward cut of this section, I promise. <laughs> anyway, yeah. yeah. Collision Chaos Act 3. It's a good future. Because we make good features in both Acts 1 and 2. If you go up here, you can actually see... You can actually see Robotnik up here, if you want to. I see him laughing his butt off. Like the jerk he is. I see you, Robotnik. We're gonna come over there and kick you in the butt. You know? Robotnik. We get you. But, you know, I may have lied when I said there's 100 rings for every Act 3. I did make the exception in Wacky Workbench, but yeah, Clutch and Chaos only has 77. The maximum ring is just here at 77. Yeah, this, this is the pinball boss. And if you go up the right way, you can complete, you can complete this one very quickly, too. See, I'm pretty much at the end right here. But nope, I don't want to launch myself up there yet. I want to goof around and get the rings. Ring. Now, that shield's going to be pretty good to have, because because these, some of these rings are dangerously close to your spikes. Yeah, this, this boss fight will really take you a long time to get through it quickly. I usually on this boss fight, I average 20 seconds. I average no more than 20 seconds on this boss. Pretty easy. It's pretty easy, me thinks. See, that's what I was talking about. There's 
down near there. See, I'm not going to get them, though. Oh, I got lucky. The game decided to be kind to me. And it bounced me away from the spike so I could keep my shield for the other section of the spike. There's another section covering the one up, too. So, yeah. It's over there. I like how you can control how far you go with the, with the flipper by holding the button. Once you let go, you stop advancing upwards. I like that. Sonic 2 or Sonic Spinball doesn't do that. You just hit, ride out the momentum. You get to control your momentum off the flippers in, in Sonic CD. I like that. Now there's the extra life. Now for a couple more rings. And there's one loose one there. Dang it, Robotnik. Stupid little explodey balls. Dang it, Robotnik. You're throwing, you're throwing your balls at me, too. This is a ballsy zone. You know? I know there's seven more rings for me to get. There we are. Well, apparently there's 79. I know there isn't 100, but yeah. Once you get up there, he'll just stand there being stupid. You just jump up three times to beat him. Like I said, the unique Sonic CD special boss state bosses, they are typically easier, but I like the uniqueness of them. You know? Yeah. Spin and peel out away. Yeah, hedgehogs, peel out. <laughs> I missed the peel out. I forgot to talk about Metal Sonic. I referenced that in Triple Trouble Part 2. I never talked about Metal Sonic yet. That'll be for next time in one of those parts. So yeah, see you next time.